KCRA 3, this is breaking news. I'm Lisa Gonzalez. We continue to follow that breaking news from Sutter County. A massive fire still burning right now destroyed a historic walnut factory in Live Oak. And as of right now, it shut down a portion of Highway 99 that remains closed. The fire broke out about 8 o'clock this morning. And KCRA 3's Aaron Heff joins us live with a look at what's happening right now. And it looks even more smoky there, Aaron, than just 30 minutes ago. Lisa, it, get, it keeps getting smoky. It'll be massive flames and it'll go away and then smoke and massive flames go away smoke. You're seeing ladders up just spraying down on hot. This used to be a walnut processing plant. Just take a look at this. It's completely decimated. Things are melted onto the ground. I want to show you this video that a viewer sent in from earlier. This massive 10,000 square foot building was a walnut processing factory. By all accounts, it was completely vacant and was only being used to store walnuts. The first 911 call came in around 745 this morning. It garnered a massive response from the area, including Wilson, Sutter, Linda, Yuba and Cal Fire. The fire on this massive lot so hot that the surrounding homes were evacuated because of the heat off this fire was beginning to melt the siding off homes nearby. As of right now, no injuries have been reported, but some neighbors are experiencing flooding large uh, boxes that have been stacked up that have been damaged by the fire. So they're unstable. There's metal structure that's still going to be in the area. So there's a, a number of things that could potentially fall on somebody. We definitely got the worst deal out of this because both of our houses are flooding pretty bad. It is historical. So I mean, you know, I mean, we're talking 1900s probably since it's been years. And the flames were very, they were very large. I could see them coming from the office. These massive flames melting boxes. What you're looking at is melted plastic. It was just stacked up just like this. Take a look at this. This is what this looked like. There were a bunch of these stacked boxes all over this facility. They are gone, now reduced to something like this. They said this investigation can take days and days and days to sift through because just look at this massive building, this massive area. They're going to make sure that nobody was in fact inside and that there are no injuries, just like they're reporting right now. But right now, if you can see, part of 99 is still completely closed off. Pacific Union Railroad is on the other side of this building. That was shut off for a time being. No update if that's open as of right now. And like you said, Lisa, it's pretty smoky out here. Back to you. Yeah, Aaron, and you had mentioned before that because it's also surrounded by all of those residences, what's the latest on, on those homes? Some of them experiencing some flooding from all of the water used to put out the flames? Yeah, a lot of flooding just because of the amount of water it really did take to put this huge structure out. A lot of those houses are on the other side of this structure. On this side, a lot of people sitting out in their driveways, sitting in their cars, trying to rake out the gutters, making sure that the flooding is mitigated as much as possible. But that's what the community is really experiencing. They also shut off electricity to the area for a time being just to make sure that the grid is safe and the neighborhood is secure. Did you say, I know you said 30 minutes ago that there were evacuations underway. Are those evacuations still underway? We're still seeing people outside. Uh, no confirmation if it's been lifted as of yet. But yeah, we've seen a lot of people outside, people just standing on the corner. That's still happening. Yeah, especially if some of them living in that area don't have power and are maybe dealing with flooding. Not much you can do in your home at that time. All right, Aaron Huff, thank you so much for your live reports from the scene there. We appreciate it.